As you probably know, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is coming out this summer, over 15 years since the last one was released. However, let's hope it's a little better than the last one. In celebration of this, I used cardboard to make one of the most iconic features about him, his hat. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. The first thing I did was print out a template that I found online. I was too lazy to make my own template for this project, so I just decided to use this one. So thank you Rocket Surgery for this awesome template. I took the first four pages of the template and put them together like a puzzle. Then I trimmed off all the edges of the paper and taped it all together. Once I had a large piece of paper, I took a pair of scissors and roughly cut it out. For this step, it didn't have to be exact. After I cut it out, I took a piece of uncorrugated cardboard and taped the template to it. Uncorrugated cardboard is the type of cardboard that cereal boxes are made of, while corrugated is the type that delivery boxes are made of. Once the template was taped down, I took a pair of scissors and cut it out. When I finished cutting it out, I folded the flaps in the middle up, and that was all for the brim of the hat. Then I took the next four pages of the template and did the same thing tape them together, cut it out, and tape it to the cardboard, and cut out the cardboard. But I left the template on it. I then took a pencil and marked over the lines in the template. This is so there is a marking on the cardboard on the spots where I am supposed to fold. Once I had finished with all the markings, I took the template off and started folding along the lines. Whenever I couldn't see where I was supposed to fold, I put the template back in and redid the marks. When I had finished the folds, I could see the floor shape take place. Then, I took some of the paper scraps from the template earlier and cut them into thin strips. I then used hot glue in these strips to connect all of the segments together, using two strips of paper per segment. Because these projects use so much cardboard, there is a lot of scraps left over. So you'll notice that whenever I can, I try to use some of the scraps in the project, instead of using a new piece of cardboard. This is what I'm doing with the paper, so I don't just have to throw it away. When I had connected all the segments, I noticed that there were some gaps between them, so I used more paper scraps to fill in these gaps. However, the paper couldn't cover the little holes at the top, so I just filled all of them using hot glue. After it had dried, the top part of the hat was complete. Then I took both parts and put the top part on top of the brim and flipped it all over. Then I flipped up each flap one by one and glued them all down to the top part. Now I had to make the ring that went around the hat. But the template didn't have anything for this part, so I just freestyled it. It's kind of hard to explain what I'm doing here, but I was cutting the cardboard at the right angles to make it bend around the hat. Once I had finished that part, I put a coat of brown paint over the hat, and a coat of black paint over the ring, and also sprayed some cardboard scraps flat. It might not show up very well on camera, but I missed some spots on the left side of the hat, and I tried to just put more paint on, but the paint can just stopped working. I still had paint in it, and I tried switching nozzles with a different can, but nothing would make it work, so I had to leave it. However, I think it makes it look a little better, because the hat from the movies isn't in perfect condition. It's a little worn, and the missing spot makes it look like that. After the paint had dried, I put the ring onto the hat and glued it down at various intervals. Then, I took the scraps I had painted and cut them into thin strips and folded them in half. These were for the trim of the hat. I then went around and glued the trim onto on the top and the bottom, and once it was all on, the hat was finished. <laughs> 